Hello guys, welcome back. I've been surprised with this massive big box arriving at my door. I have no idea what it is, so let's find out. Twist it around. It is a sure. I had no idea this was coming. I am very surprised. But, well, hey. Okay, so what we've we got, guys, we've got the King Kong RC 1 10th scale Lurker, but it's obviously a ship. They just can't call it a ship. Got all metal chassis on it. It's got capabilities of going in the water. So I think there's some little mods in there you've got to do as you build it just to get it a bit more waterproof. But this has been on the slow boat from China for months and months and months. So I didn't actually think it was going to turn up. So. It's a half sort of built kit from what I've seen on other YouTube reviews. So we've got to add the speed controllers and the receiver, which we've got here ready. So it's got the three motors already installed, I believe. So let's just get in the box. Miles, get that seal broken, mate. Okay. And we'll get in the box. God, we're going to be here till after Christmas, mate, getting this oh, out. Oh, it opens that way. So what have we got in here, mate? Instructions. I think we are absolutely yeah, going to need them. Usually, Normally, we just throw we, them away, we, don't we? we? We're we going to use those this we're time. We're going to need them. Don't forget as well, guys, it's just over there as a bit of a hint. Please give us a subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, and you can see more of our rubbish videos then, which we do yeah. intend making a lot more of. Right, so what have we got in there? There's a bit of body panelling in there. Let's just put that down carefully. I think this is, from the looks of it, I think it might be the, the bed okay. the that goes on the back. There's Mac the dog, look, he's really interested in the <laughs> smelly Chinese packaging, look. So what have we got then? In here, it looks pretty big. Well, it's 10th scale, so it's not going to be small. Well, We'll yeah. have a look in that box first, shall we? We will. What have we got in there? Don't know yet. Please don't cut yourself with that sharp knife. Don't worry, I won't. I'm just going to do it, guys, because a small boy with a brand new sharp knife is just a recipe for disaster. So let's get in there. There we go. That's a bit safer. It is probably a bit safer. What have we got? Hey, there's another box he's opened upside down. <laughs> right, so this is all the cab section, guys. Like I said, it's semi-constructed, so we're going to have to put all these bits together, which is actually, I think, quite a good thing because it gives us the opportunity to get it all painted. So, no idea what those blue things are. I've never seen them on any YouTube. Seats, yeah, well done, mate. Seats. So, we're going to get all that painted up. And um, we'll do that in another video, probably. I'm just too excited to get it out. Look at the size of it. I can't actually lift it out with one hand. It's really heavy. Can you get it out? Yeah. That is a monster. I've seen some wicked videos of these on YouTube, guys, where people have got them right in the water and it does actually swim like a proper one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow, those tires are massive, look at that. I'll tell you what we'll do, we've got a 10th scale crawler over here. Watch out mate, let's just get this 10th scale crawler and we'll put it next to it just to see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty big. Yeah, you could say, you could say. That's what she said. <laughs> hey. It's bigger than I thought though. Let's get that back out of the way. Wow, check that out. Feels like there's some real good thick foams in there. Oh yeah. So what you really need to do, we're gonna take these couple of uh, Allen screws out in here, take this section out. That's the motor wires here, obviously. So we're gonna have to put our ESCs in there. There's two ESCs, 
for the three motors. So there's two motors that drive it forwards and backwards, and there's one that steers it. I think that's the right way around. And we're also going to get it all lit up. But guys, wait on that. That is ridiculous. That is so heavy. It is pretty heavy. Oh, I can't wait to get this going. I was going to wait, but yeah. we're going to have to get stuck in. We so to. we've got two Hobby Win ESCs. We've got a 1080 for the drive and a 1060 for the steering. <laughs> Obviously, the wheels don't steer. It's just using the uh, the diffs in there to drive it like a tank, sort of skid ski steer thing. Can't even speak. I'm so excited. Um, so we get it all stripped down. We we'll get the cab all painted. And we'll check back in when we've got the radio installed. What do you reckon, Marzo? Good surprise? Pretty good surprise. Yeah, it's wicked. Okay, nice one, guys. See you in a bit. All right, so we've got all the truck and the empty box out of the way. We've got the sort of accessories box. This is all the cab. Pretty cool looking sticker set. I'm not sure if I can use the Lurker brand because I think I'll probably make up my own shape stickers. Make it look a bit cooler. This does make me laugh. So it says, warning, please choose the waterproof electronics and do the waterproof work to the chassis before you play on water. It doesn't actually tell you anything you've got to do to waterproof the chassis. I can't find anything on Google, on YouTube, nothing. So we'll have a good look at that. And we've also got the instructions in there for building up all this cab section. So let's get on into that. That there, I've got a new receiver because I've got the new uh, radio link controller there so we can bind that up later on okay so what have we got like the cab back and the seat bases these little panels go on the side of the truck seats pretty shocking color blue moldings though so we're going to paint those probably gray i would imagine it's the main front cab section so we got the glazing to go inside there whether they glue in or just click in, I'll have to have a look. I hate gluing windows in, so I always get white super glue all over the glass. That is a really heavy accessory bag there, guys. The great thing with this is everything seems to be metal. You've got some spare gears, which is really good, because I've heard some people have been having clicking noises and nasty things going on like that. So that's great. We've actually got some new gears, should we need them. And the final bit in the box there... We've got the metal roll cage just to go on there. So if we just grab the chassis a second. That there just sort of fits the airabouts. And then obviously we've got the cab section, which will just go on the front there. So I have actually, since the last video started, unscrewed this with miles. So what we can do is take that out. That is, mad. That is actually a piece of wood crazy so inside we've got the three motors so we've got the steering and the forwards and backwards all on their own little gearboxes and drives really really cool so it's like a tank system so you've got the drive belts and the tensioners good thing with these belts is they've got numbers on them so what i'm going to do sooner rather than later i'm going to order some spare belts because what i don't want to happen is snap a belt or it go all slack and loose and then I'm waiting ages to find the belt, so I'm going to do that first. Really happy with it so far, though. With the waterproof, and I have no idea where or how you actually do it, but all this chassis is metal. It seems really well built. So I don't know whether they're on about sealing up these gaps along the edge there, so I'll do that. I'd like to do it from inside, but it seems a lot of stuff in the way. So we'll we get some down along there, take all the screws out and seal those up. I don't know how we're going to get in there. To see that hopefully these drive units are sealed so we haven't got to mess about with that but it weighs an absolute ton it's crazy really really cool so we're going to route these wires for the motors they're going to come up through this section here and we'll just get them there's like a box thing that storage box that goes along the back of the cab so we get the escs in there and then that unit there creates like a false floor so that shape of it there drops in like that so you've got a bit of a void underneath so maybe the battery goes under there or something like that we'll figure that out but the next step we're going to get this on i don't know whether to leave it gray or to paint it i don't know we've got a couple of cans of paint here so i might paint it make it a bit cooler and then we can start getting this all put together get the yes season and obviously we're gonna have to order some lights for it because we can't have all these cool looking lenses and no lights so that's gonna need doing and i think it's going to need a light bar on the top and get some nighttime crawling down over the winter. Cannot wait to get this built, guys.
just a quick little interim one guys i'm just starting to build the cab up just got to put these hinge pieces on so the front sort of window bit, I suppose that lifts up and down so you can get access inside and we've got to glue the little handle on the front there and i've just given these a quick blow over with some matte black some of the accessory parts there first little bit it turns out i didn't actually have to do one of these little hinge covers there but just to add a little bit more detail to it really i was going to paint this but i just can't wait for paint the warm and all that nonsense i just want to get it built and i'm absolutely dying to test it out guys so i'm gonna get cracking with this millions of little bits and usually you got a label on there some of them goodness knows what they are they're just random chinese things written all over them god knows but we get it sorted and we get it built up just another quick catch up guys just roughly mounted the cab on there there's loads of little uh, magnets you've got to glue in just under these tabs so that this piece will actually come off easily and then as you saw earlier we just put the hinges on really lift up very well with nothing in it yet but you can get in the cab just chuck some paint quick on the seat to finish doing them on the weekend got the gear stick in made the gear linkage for down in here so we've got some 3m tape to put all the window glass in got some lights on the way to go in there because you can't have a scale truck without lights can you but yeah really happy with that that is going to be mega Alrighty, we are back on the ship i've just done off camera super quick um soldered the two escs together because when you want one battery plug and i don't want a separate one for the steering and the drive put the receiver in i've taken the switches off just to save a bit of room because all this needs to sort of cram under the front seat area so i've taken the switches off so as soon as you plug it in it's going to come on please excuse the shocking puffy lipo but that'll do for a minute so i've put it all on my radio link controller so we've just got the Sherp on the top there, so let's have a look. So press the throttle. Bring that forwards. Backwards, that's the steering. Let's see how that works. Ah, so they're going forwards. They're going backwards. Okay, no worries. And the other way. Looks good. Let's see what happens when we chuck it on the floor. The only thing I'm concerned about is usually ESCs go slower backwards and forwards. So hopefully that's not going to be the case on the steering. Let's have a look. Turn it to the right. Yeah, that's mega slow. Okay, to the left. Right, so I'm going to need to try and sort that out. So forwards. Right. And backwards. Not bad. Much quicker to the left than the right, so we may need a different ESC or a better one that can go for as fast backwards as we can forward. So we'll try that, get the top on, and we see how we get on with it. Get all these wires tidied up, and we'll come straight back. Right, so the two ESCs and the receiver are stuck in with number plate sticky stickies. Notice the school way error. I was in my haste to get this thing finished, I've just blasted over with some car paint on these which I now know rubbery seats so and it's all come off straight away as I've been trying to get it in screwed in there so I'm going to whip those straight off chuck some other paint on it see how they get on but we need to get some figures on whatnot in there so we got our puffy lipo in the back there so let's just turn the transmitter on because we've been uh, squishing all these wires in welcome to radio link we just need to make sure it's still working yeah, forwards backwards Turn. Turn. Excellent, all works. So to cover the batteries, what I'm going to do is go and get some Velcro in here so we can run two packs nicely balanced. Down there. We've got this little piece here. It's got magnets on the bottom there. So that'll just stick on there. That'll cover that. Excellent. Now, oh, I'm looking for the boxes underneath. Look, there's a little cover panel to go on here. And then we get the top on. So let's see how it looks. So there she is, almost all done. All I've got to do is screw this bar on the back there, get the sticker on, there's some little side panels on there, which I'm waiting to dry, just painting them silver, so we'll get them glued in. And she is done. Get the lights on in there. How cool is that though? What a cool looking toy. I've no idea what we're supposed to do to waterproof the chassis because all it says in the instructions is please take waterproof measures. So no idea what that is because it doesn't tell you at all in the instructions. 
obviously all the electronics are up in the top here so that that ain't gonna get wet up there but who knows so the last little bit we've got to do as i said repaint the seats there's little stays just in the bottom there just see it tucked down there which screw up to these little pieces here just so you can hold the window open like on the real shape and i'm still waiting for my lights to arrive so once they arrive we'll get those in we'll get the cab all fitted and squared up nicely it's just chucked on a minute and then we can take it out for its first rip and dip can't wait guys what a cool toy all right just back for another super quick update i've had to change the steering esc I was right, I had to swap it for a Hobbywing 1080. Only reason I had to do that is like we saw super quick that it would steer one way quicker than the other and with like no power at all. That's because it had the really reduced reverse feature. So I had to put the 1080 in so I could program it with the Hobbywing program card. And that allowed me to have 100% reverse and 100% throttle. So we've got 100% left and right. So my good mate Simon gave me that one. Thanks, Si. I've got all the lights wired in. Bit of a nightmare to do that, but it's always going to be worth it, isn't it? We've got some brave passengers in the front there. So they're going to go out for a test ride very soon. All I've got left on the front, really. I've just got to fit these little hinge things. They're going to screw up into the top there just to hold that open like on the real shape so that's quite cool to sort of stay up something like that you get the idea and there's no lenses came with it for the back so i'm gonna have to try and fashion some leds at some point but i'm not rushing to do that i can't be bothered so all for now we just got to pop the cover back on there we've got the hobby wing on off switch there we've got a separate little jst for the 3s pack power the lights and we've got an xt60 there for the 3s to drive the beast so we just need to get some velcro strips in the back there stick the packs down and then that cover can uh, just go on the top like you've seen this before but we'll chuck it back on it just goes on and, uh, on some magnets there so that's cool so we get all the covers on there we've got some scale bits and bobs to go on the back there just to make it look a bit cooler but we are definitely getting there now any day now that is going to be out and about on the trail probably in some water all right we've got the lights on we've got some old school 12 volt normal bulbs in the fronts here and then what would be the indicators there so they're nice and dim and then we've got some really bright 12 volt leds off the top there they're actually bang good specials these are about six quid for four so i took took two of them apart and integrated them into the existing lights there but really happy with how that looks we got our brave crew in there got his hand on the controls ready to go so give it a couple of days now we've kept a couple more tweaks on it and we'll get it out on the trail hey guys welcome back so we've been lucky enough to sneak out again haven't we it's a nice sunny day really mm -hmm. cold into the nice fashionable hats said no one ever yeah. so we got miles with the trx 4m again we're intending to get out really muddy and if i just flip the camera around we got the shape really excited to get that going we're not going to be shy we're just going to get it absolutely filthy dirty straight away and see how it handles let's get on it a little speed run guys this is on a 3s not bad
I'm going to film this because Miles is probably going to slip on the ice for the mud and end up with a big walk of shame back all muddy. No, I'll be alright. Mm. I made it. Let's see how the 2x4M gets through the mud. Come on. Pretty good, mate, pretty good. First, I'm gonna crawl on it. Here we go, Smarty Pants is gonna break some ice. Or are you gonna go drift trucking? I went drift truck it first. Drift truck it, let's have a look. Oh, oh. hand of God. Oh. 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 Hand of God. Oh. He's rescued it, no one saw. Having this new controller as well, absolutely awesome. And I can reach the steering really easily with my thumb. Millions of channels on it. We've got like 12 models on there already. Absolutely brilliant, really happy with it. I think we've exhausted that one muddy puddle, so we're just gonna have a little walk along a bit further and see if we can find some more mud. There's usually a low point down where the cats are in the sun. Right? We found some mud and Miles is stuck in it already. Is it? In the middle. Don't know if you can hear that guy. My transmitter is shouting at me that the voltage is low. I'm sure, it'll be all right. TRX4 straight through. Mega, turn around, see if she come back through. Absolutely loving this thing guys, this is mega. Just doesn't stop. We got a stuck TRX4 guys. TRX4M, not shy straight in. Oh, mud, oh, water, look at that, straight through. This thing is mega. We had years to get one of these, and I can tell you it is worth the wait. Oh, this looks a bit more challenging. How deep is that? Will it float in there? Yeah, she's in a floating, guys. Flipping heck, miles straight in. No way that's getting through there. What? <laughs> Absolutely epic. Oh, that's right in, isn't it? Epic. Oh, well, that's getting stuck on it. It's getting stuck on the bottom or something. Ah, it's all tangled up with a reed. I think it's all tangled up. Ah, oh, that would be why. Oh, that absolutely stinks. 
Look at that mud, yummy, yummy, yummy. So easy. Oh, TRX4 stuck. Unlucky, mate, get in there. I'm torn, I hope he falls, but I don't want to soak in my muddy small boy in my car. This is what these things were designed for, guys. Having a giggle in the mud with your best mate. And that thing, I'm gonna chuck it in the river, it keeps telling me that. I know, we've told me 500 times. What a wicked place, for guys, look at that view. back to the car now because that shit weighs a flipping ton I've been really lazy and I'm freezing cold and I can't be bothered to carry it. How long our shadows are. What a wicked time of year. I don't actually care how good this is getting because this is literally one of the most fun RCs I think I've used in a very long time. And that is what it's all about. Absolutely amazing. Not a huge amount to build when you get it out of the box. It only took a couple of hours. Added the, uh, added the lights on the top and the little scale bikes. But what a cool toy. Absolutely amazing. Okay guys, what can I say? Literally, I know it sounds geeky, I'm a geek, I don't care. Dream RC toy, this guy's honestly absolutely blown away. Um, I've sealed it up on the bottom, as per King Kong RC's instructions. I'm not sure if it worked 100%, but it certainly didn't let any water in like it did when we tried it in the pond, so fingers crossed it's all right inside. Absolutely brilliant. I got a much bigger, like a 5,000 milliamp hour 3S, so I'm gonna put that in the next time for a longer run time. Add a couple more scale bits, like we've got the bikes and what have you on the back. Get a few more bits, we've got a naughty dog to go in the front. And then that is going to be hitting the trails all summer, can't wait. We've also got another two old school ones. We've got the Tamiya Avanti, another dream car for me. So not sure, it's kind of too nice to run. So maybe we'll get another one and we'll run that and we'll keep this as a shelf queen. And we've also got to get back out on the road again. I'm torn with this one. We've got an original Stadium Blitzer. I had this in 1990. So one of the, well, the first release of it. Tyres I've replaced over the years, but they are absolutely solid. So again, we might get another one. We'll keep this as a shelf queen, but I want to do some old classic Tamiya stuff. So if you can, if you can uh, like and subscribe the video, guys, it really does help. We don't get any for it, but me and Miles really enjoy messing around. And what can I say? Enjoy this geeky hobby with us. Cheers.